Hey guys, how's it going? James here from Butler Farms. You can see I'm outside. I'm uh, taking a little break under the shade of these pecan trees up here. Been down in the garden uh, picking some peas, but man, it has gotten hot. Thank goodness for this little breeze we've got here this morning. But I just wanted to take a few minutes and come on and talk about something that I hear from uh, people that I run into and the people, uh, people that talk to me about gardening and things like that and homesteading, and that is expectations. Um, as most of you know, uh, I work full-time and part-time um, off the homestead, and that's at this point, that's what I have to do. And even this summer, um, being a teacher, I uh, signed up to do summer school. Um, you know, we're at a stage in our lives where we're trying to pay off any debt that we have so that um, when I can retire, I can retire and i can come home and and do this full time and, and get into the animals and get into uh, being much more uh, self-sustainable and um, growing uh, you know the majority of our food that's my goal that's what i want to do but right now i got to get out uh, from under some um, debt not a lot but you know, it, it is what it is i have to uh, get that taken care of so that being said i was down in the garden picking and uh this year it has not been as productive as years past several reasons for that um as i told you in one of the other videos we had a long dry spell with no rain uh, for instance my peppers i'm usually overrun with peppers and tomatoes and things like that uh, my pepper plants di pretty much died down to the ground and they're starting to come back now but there's very few peppers on them it got so dry and so hot they just wilted almost completely to the ground my tomatoes I look back over my notes and I skipped a step uh, that I normally do to prevent blossom in rot so I got these big beautiful tomatoes until you pick them and turn them over and then they're rotted on the bottom and and that's on me um, you know and so there's the good bad and the ugly in homesteading and um, you know my time uh, was taken up doing other things and trying to uh, do what I need to do to get out from under um, the little bit of debt that we have uh, so that I can do this full time and I'm not making excuses it, um, it is what it is but when I was down in the garden I got to um, kind of um, second guessing myself and you know just um, feeling bad about you know all the work I've put in and it's not producing like it should guys down there on the very end of my tomatoes my peppers again I, I just told you about them but even my peas and my beans um, this year um, I wasn't here to be able to keep them weeded like they should so when I was down there picking a while ago the weeds are completely taking over and overgrowing it I'm still getting some out of it but not like years past um, you know so I kind of get down and get hard on myself and um, that's you know something that I've always had to work on I, I try to uh, be a perfectionist I, you know and I try to do things the right way I want my gardens to look like the gardens that you see on other YouTube channels and I want to be able to make videos with tables covered with produce and things like that and I have in the past and um, I, like I said I've been getting some this year but um, you know what I wanted to talk to you about today was getting out of that mindset you know we have um, there's all kinds of things that you can find on YouTube and um, you know some of the people when I first I've always been interested in growing and in uh, producing food and things like that I grew up doing it um, that was an expectation growing up we always had a garden when I was growing up um, you know, we always hunted and fished and provided meat that way. And so it translated over into adult life. And then YouTube came along and I started watching some of these people. And, you know, some of them were kind of big when I started watching them. But over the years, they have exploded. And, you know, I, I've told you in a, a video in the past that um, there's several people that I watch for years and years and years that I just can't watch anymore number one i don't have a lot of time so i want to devote my time when i'm when i'm watching things that i think will help me i need to watch people that are in similar situations that are trying to do things um, the way i am trying to do things the right way uh, for instance one of the biggest homesteading names uh, in america that writes books and produces movie quality videos and speaks at all these conferences guys I just can't watch his stuff anymore and the reason being is because he has a staff he has people working for him 
And let me say right up front, there's nothing wrong with that. He has grown that business. He has grown that brand. Uh, he is in demand for speaking and things like that. But, you know, with that comes a paycheck. So he is a full-time homesteader, full-time filmmaker. And he has a staff that helps him make these polished videos and helps him with these books. And he has, a full, he has people that work on his farm. Uh, help. You don't see them in the videos, but they're there. Um, that are you know helping him with his animals and helping him uh, with his gardens and you know in the videos it looks like he and his family and that's fine again I'm not I'm not putting him down I just that is not my reality that's not what we do here I don't have a staff I have a staff of one and that's me and um, you know I can only do what I can do with the time that I have and to get my family to a place where I can retire and put more time and effort into this right now when the opportunity arises I have to do that and I have to keep that in mind with my gardens and things like that that is one of the main reasons that I haven't introduced chickens here um, on this place is because right now I don't have a time uh, time to uh, do it during the school year my day starts at about 4 45 in the morning and uh, usually I'm getting home about 4.45 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I know a lot of people have livestock that work similar hours, but also, you know, there's other things thrown in there. I have other responsibilities um, at church, and I have four children, and I have a wife. You know, I'm going, uh, we don't take many vacations, but I'm getting ready to go on vacation with uh, my family for a few days. They're already gone. Uh, I had to stay here and wrap up some things, and uh, we'll be joining them uh tomorrow for a few days but i know that during that time things that need to be done won't get done and i've got to let that go i've got to you know i got to go spend time with my wife and with my family and do those things now while, while i can so you know i have to check my priorities i have to check my expectations yes this is the lifestyle i want to live but while my children are at home, while my, my family is intact, before they start moving away and doing their own thing and, and you, know, uh, you know, living their own life, I need to do those kind of things. And, you know, I, I won't make apologies for that. But you've got to check your expectations. Um, you know, I've told you in the past that I, I watch very few channels now. Uh, I'm subscribed to very few channels now permapastures farms with billy i like what he does because everything is right there on his farm and he 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 turns it over in a cycle there i watch danny down at deep south homestead and you know he his gardens are immaculate they are unbelievable but yet it, it's still something that i can ascribe to because it's just danny and miss wanda that are doing it and if they can do it i know i can do it i've told you about Harmon homestead and I, I, she's got some of the greatest ideas i've ever seen about growing vegetables in non-traditional ways um and you know i also like her because we are in a similar situation we are i'm more on the west side of alabama uh, she's more toward the central um, uh, part of alabama but we have similar weather uh, similar heat and humidity issues and so i watch her for a lot of guidance as well um, you know to get ideas and to see how she's doing things but in all those cases guys um, these are people that you know have their expectations in order and i think as gardeners and homesteaders we always have these big grand ideas and that's fine there's something to shoot for something to uh, set your goals i have big goals in the future but i also know that i you know i don't know that i will ever have employees working for me um, i don't have um, you know a lot of these uh, big channels they are sponsored um, with equipment and with uh, fencing and with tools and with seeds and everything else and that allows a lot of freedom for them because that allows them to do some things that right now I can't do here because I don't I don't have that and again I'm not I'm not whining and complaining I'm just being real so I have to check my expectations um, yes go find with YouTube we've got something that growing up I didn't have if I wanted to learn about something I had to go look it up and it wasn't on the internet because it wasn't there but now you can go and you can not only find the information you want you can watch people doing it and that's such a wonderful thing but keep your expectations in check 
Um, only you can only do what you can do and I think a lot of the burnout and I, I get burnout this time of year because I'm so tired it's so hot and you know um, I get frustrated uh, dealing with the weeds and the, the dry and then the humidity hits and and things go uh, bad in the garden guys I've got to keep my expectations real and I've got to live in reality and understand that I can only do what I can do and one thing you know that i hear from these other channels Harmon homestead and these other ones is guys if you're doing anything you're doing something and that's all that's all we're trying to get you to do here is to do something to grow something if you only grow two tomato plants in a pot out on your back patio well that provides some food that provides some produce for you that you're not having to buy you're not having to worry what's on it and it's the feeling of being able to grow something and maybe you expand from there maybe you stay at that you know at that level from here on out but keep your expectations in check watch some of these people that i that i've mentioned before and i appreciate you watching me because i'm a i'm a one-man uh, band when it comes to this kind of work. Um, I'm really the only one that's interested in this kind of work So, you know, I, I have to do what I have to do and I have to keep my expectations where they need to be Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that uh, Just wanted to share that with you because I know a lot of you get frustrated and a lot of you say, you know Is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it uh, Even though this is gonna be a, a lower not a low year, but a lower year on production I'm not ashamed of what I've got. I've put um, a bunch of stuff in the freezer. I've been able to give a bunch of stuff away uh, to family and to uh, friends that wanted it. So, you know, there's good in that. And uh, being able to provide clean food for my family and for other people as much as I can under the situation that I'm in right now, that's a blessing. And I'll take it every day of the week. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, tell a friend about it. Uh, let's keep growing. Let's keep moving. Let's keep uh, building this homestead together. And uh, God bless you. This is James from Butler Farms, and we'll be seeing you.